Oh God, this is brutal. Welcome to another episode of Crime Pace of Botany Does It. As you can see, we're in a uh, thoroughly invaded woodland invaded with English ivy. Brutal, horrible Hallmark plant. They actually sell it out in like Hallmark bouquets that make me want to puke. Really brutal. My hatred for English ivy uh, is only surpassed by a few other species of non-natives. You know, it's one of those plants I'd, I'd love to see it where it actually behaves ecologically. 4,000 miles away because it's not doing that here and it is just it just forms this ugh, this it's in the ginseng family Rayleigh carrot order apiales but you can see it's taken over here and then one of the only natives besides the vitus that's able to eke it out here is uh toxicodendron poison ivy so anyway we're here to see a rare plant that's in uh, the order Australbaleales. it's one of the basal angiosperm orders so it's a, a one of the early branching lineages on the angiosperm family tree kind of cool to see somewhat endangered so let's go check it out oh look it's an invasive uh, mahonia you might see this in the landscaping outside the doctor's office you know if you're lucky enough to have health care in america which you probably don't i don't but this is, this is just a landscape of invasives god the thing i like about seeing english ivy in california though is that it doesn't really invade wildlands too much unless there's moisture there's just not enough moisture for it but when you do see it it's often covered in like used needles human shit and urine so it's got like this kind of like you know <laughs> rustic urban association for it at least to me where i saw it out west you know they planted along the freeway overpass where all the homeless camps are jesus they're just just oh my god Toxicodendron everywhere. Look, it's Magnolia tripetala, though. That's a nice surprise. I wonder how that was able to eke out a living in this Hallmark hellscape. Ugh. What about the Lifetime channel? Is that still a thing? Lifetime Hallmark, same association. Better homes and gardens. Oh, God. It's fucking. Well, at least, at least the Toxicodendron's native. That's a little dwarf papa, Semina parvifolia. But again, everything's just choked out by, by the uh, English ivy. Right here is the Schizandra, Schizandraceae, but it's not flowering and probably isn't going to be flowering because it's, it's uh, getting smothered. I think we're a little early, but Phenology says it's supposed to be flowering uh, early May, so who knows? This is, which is about when it is. But you can see there's this little, this little colony everywhere. And glabrous leaves. God, brutal. It's the wrecked ecology. There's a project for you. See, you get people coming out here learning to identify plants. Maybe carrying a little backpack sprayer around up and just spot targeting the English ivy. It would be take a couple years, but you keep, you know, build some trails or some shit. You know, keep doing it. And you could slowly restore this stuff. God, because this, man, that looks like shit. No wonder nobody wants to go in the woods. Probably need a fire, too. I'm going to take a little herbarium voucher. God, look at that. I can't believe what a fucking mess these woods are, though. And I'm told this is what much of Atlanta has become. So you need a hobby. You need something to do. And you live in the region, I would definitely try to link up with someone who knows their shit. Avoid those master naturalist programs like the plague. That's just my personal two cents tend to be a scam and you get a lot of I mean whatever I've had horrible experiences with them in Texas you know and you don't need a fucking program to teach yourself some of this shit you just need to get out there pay attention use INAT take photos and study a little bit of plant taxonomy to do it but come out here and just start restoring these places they're not going to let you burn but there's other shit you could do you could cut you could spray you can learn to identify stuff flag it mark it off with tape whatever but this is a fucking mess, man. This is a really, this is really sad to see.